Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create a checklist in Canva. Whether it's for travel, or work or daily tasks, a beautiful design checklist can make organizing so much more enjoyable. Let's dive in. First, let's go to Canva, click on create design and search for the checklist. First, we will be creating the checklist for the travel list and we will be reusing one of the built-in templates in Canva. Let's see what they have. Make sure to only look for those that do not have the icon so they are free to use. So let's use this one. Now let's modify it to our likings. First, I would like to change the background color. So I'm clicking on this section and on this background color icon. Now let's select the background color we would like to change. Okay, I like this one, but I want to modify it a little bit. So I'm clicking on this icon and selecting other styles right here. Okay, I will use this one. Next, I want to change the family font here, size and color. So let's select a different font. We can use this one. Now let's change their size. And also I want to add some effects, so I'm clicking on effects. Okay, I will use this one. And also I would like to change the color to something different. So let's use purple. Well, let's make it slightly bigger and also change the color right here. Okay, looks nice. Now I want to change the background color. So I'm clicking on the section first and on the color icon next and let's see what we can change it to. Okay, I will keep this one. Next, I want to rename this section. So let's zoom in a little bit so we see it in a bigger font. And uh, let's change the titles here. So for example, I would like to change this to technology. Okay, we can also change the font size and etc. And uh, we can remove the section by clicking on it and clicking on delete. Same for other elements. Okay, looks good. Now we don't need this as well. Instead, I would like to add some elements here. So some small images. Let's go to design to elements and search for something related to travel. So maybe plane. Let's see what they offer us. We can use this one. Let's make it smaller and drag and drop here. And we need something else on the right side. So maybe let's see the luggage. Okay, this one works fine. And we can put it right here as well. Just make sure they are aligned on the same level. And let's see if we can change the color. So this one I would like to be purple. And this way I and this one I also would like to be purple. So they match. Okay, looks good. So let's see. I want to get rid of this. But 
so I'll just click on it and delete and okay we modified it a little bit so now if we want to add some text to this line so let's go to text add text drag this section right here for example and start typing or you can remove the existing text first by clicking on delete and now you can start typing so for example one sweater we can move it to the left like this or use the alignment option and align it like to the center to the right side like something like that we can make this color different and the font so maybe we want it purple as well just highlight it and uh, make it purple if you want to duplicate it just click right side and click duplicate and move it right here and change it to something else and um, also you can remove the sections completely substitute them add more lines like this just click right click and uh, duplicate and we can add one more so it makes it easier for you it's already showing you what's there what's their um, sizes and what's the space in between them so it helps you to align them nicely so you can drag and drop the titles and move it to the different section and uh, something like this once it's ready you can either go to share copy the link if you want to share it with someone else you can download here and if you click on see all you also see more menus right here or first what i always do i go to files save it so i make sure my design is saved and after i download it from here it will also show you this pop-up model where you can select the file type it can be either png or pdf or other file types and that's how you download it so now let's create the template from scratch for this we just have to go back to design create new design we can search for checklist again and select some options from the list so let's go to the travel checklist again so as you can see canva has you cover it and you can either create it from scratch or use the pre-existing templates and just modify it and it will save you a lot of time by doing that so now let's start from the title and we just have to go to text click on a text box and move it right here to the top make it bigger change the font size as well change the font family if you would like let's go with carda let's make it bold let's change the color as well we can use this one let's go to effects okay and in case you want to display them in all capital letters you can just click on this menu and select this uppercase or if you want to go back to the previous version just click on it again and it will be shown in a small size too so now let's center it and in case you want to add the table you just go to elements search for the table and drag and drop some options so something like that I won't be using a table today but i will be just using single element so in this case we will need some check boxes or tick boxes so we will be using those maybe this one i'll make it smaller i'll drag and drop right here 
I'm going to duplicate this and now I'm right here duplicate again and again so okay let's stop now we need to have the lines so let's search for line and see what the author is okay let's use this one let's make right here let's do the same and duplicate it we can keep the second page because if the list is long and uh, everything won't fit into one page you can reuse the second one so let's do this like this As you can see, they don't have the same spacing between them and uh, we need to make sure they have the same spacing. So let's move a little bit. I'm not sure why this one is not active anymore, so I can't duplicate it. Interesting. Okay, we can just add another one right here. Okay. Let's remove this one, let's duplicate the last one, and let's move it right here something like that they still don't have the same spacing between them but it's okay so now let's add the text go to text click add text box drag and drop right here make it bigger so we can see the type maybe we want to type walking shoes here and drag and drop right here so also we need to add the title here the actual title so something like flower check list and uh, now let's duplicate let's change it to hat for example let's move it to the left and what i also want to have here i need to actually to have a title right here so let's move this down and uh, like this here we will add the title something like travel essentials let's call it that travel essentials let's make it bigger let's add some effects maybe like this here let's add another one let's move down it let's add another item something like sweater maybe and let's modify our last one and for the last one we will add scarf something like that and let's also left align it okay so now you can see that they are not the same size and so let's change it. This is 27. This is 27. This is 22. Let's make it 27. Let's make this one also 27. Let's make sure the text doesn't overlap the border. Okay, now let's change the background color here. Okay, maybe something like this. Let's 
keep doing let's add some icons here so let's also look for a plane like this you can add it here you can change it you can also add another icon Like this, and this. Okay, and as you can see, this travel checklist is ready, and that's how you create it from scratch. And uh, in case you want to share it, you also go to share, copy the link, and share it or download it, and don't forget to save. And that's it. That's how you create any checklist in Canva. Just make sure to select the correct type. When you search for the checklist, it will give you options they already have. So you can just select like checklist to do maybe or something like that here. And um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.